Hello, my name is Jason Blanchard, and I thought I was I moved from a larger town to a smaller town for it to be quiet. And there's a lot of passion here, and I really appreciate that. Um, I'm actually here today to express my concerns regarding the proposed electric vehicle battery plant. And I realize that the board is going to be voting on the transfer of properties, but I would like kind of everyone to recognize that the ultimate consequence of the transfer of those properties is going to be the sale of it to Ford. So, while it may sound like a great opportunity for our community, there are significant economic concerns that must be taken into account. The production of lithium um, and other raw materials uh, crucial to electric vehicle batteries is heavily reliant upon unstable foreign markets. These markets are often plagued by political instability, labor violations, and supply chain issues. As a result, prices for these materials can be volatile, leading to unpredictable production costs for manufacturers. Furthermore, the demand for electric vehicles is currently concentrated in only a few countries, and it is uncertain whether this demand will continue to grow at a sustainable rate. A sudden drop in demand could leave the proposed plant vulnerable to a boom and bust cycle, which would have negative consequences for our local economy. In addition, lithium has been linked to numerous environmental and social issues, including water pollution, deforestation, and human rights abuses. These concerns could damage the reputation of our city and negatively impact our local economy. Finally, while the proposed plant may create jobs in the short term, we must consider the long-term economic sustainability of the industry itself. If demand for electric vehicles decreases, the plant may be forced to downsize or shut down, leaving our community with few options for economic recovery. I heard that the majority of the jobs at the proposed electric vehicle plant site um, are $18 to $20 per hour. Construction costs being what they are, an average plant worker supporting a family will not be able to afford a new construction home or an existing rental. Mm -hmm. Lastly, <laughs> with all due respect, the average demographics of the Marshall Township Board, the Marshall City Council, and the Meta Board concern me and my wife as millennials. It feels like you're only thinking of your limited lifetimes, with all due respect. <laughs> Making a decision on behalf of all of us and all of our children to have to deal with the long-term consequences 40, 50, 60 years beyond today. In conclusion, I urge you to reconsider the proposed electric vehicle battery plant and recognizing what you are doing here today the potential economic risks and negative externalities are significant and we must prioritize sustainable development that is beneficial for our community in the long run, not the short run.